My name is Matt Rich. I'm the senior pastor here at Unity Presbyterian Church, and I want to welcome you to this week's edition of Life Together. This coming Sunday is November the 6th, and it's the day that we as Unity Church will be marking All Saints Day. Actually, that's why I'm here in the columbarium today recording this video. I'm standing beside the foundation stones that were recovered from the original church sanctuary as it was built in 1788. It's a reminder of the ways in which our church has been faithful across the generations, listening carefully for God's call and living faithfully with one another. All Saints Day is a day we use to remember those who have gone before us and particularly to call to mind and to celebrate the lives of those who have lived their life of faith as a member here at Unity and have now died and passed into life eternal over the course of the last year. So our service is one in which we do bear witness to the hope we share in the resurrection of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. We continue to surround with our prayers the families of those who know this um, as a day of grief and loss as they hear their loved one's name called once more, this time as part of the great prayer of thanksgiving as we celebrate communion. The service this year will be a musical service. It will be led by members of the choir and will also include in addition to some special anthems and extra hymns, it will also include a celebration of communion. We'll have scripture readings, we'll have some poems. There are various ways in which we bear witness to the good hope we share in the resurrection of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. So come and join us, 8.45, 11 o'clock on Sunday morning. Both of those services will be identical this week. And I do hope that you can come and be present to be a part of them. If you can't join us in person, then join us online. You can find us on Facebook, on YouTube, and on the church website. The, uh, both of those services are live streamed on all three of those platforms. Sunday also be a special day as it is the day of the crop walk. And so if that's something that you are participating in, I hope that you've found information in the bulletin and online about how you can participate in the crop walk this year. We're also looking ahead to November the 13th. I hope that you'll join us that day as well. We'll have our congregational meeting immediately following both services to elect our new class of elders and deacons. So that'll be an important thing that I hope that you will come and to be a part of. We're also having our congregational luncheon that day to think and talk and pray about what we've learned as a part of our study this fall of finding unity in a divided world. We'd love to have you come and be a part of that kind of conversation as well. So not only this Sunday, but next Sunday as well. It's going to be days of great opportunities, great opportunities to hear the gospel, to find our ways of living together in the midst of a divided world, and remembering those saints who have gone before us, who carry us forward, who cheer us on as we seek to live faithfully this and every day. So join us this Sunday and join us next Sunday as well. My friends, God bless you, and we'll look forward to seeing you soon.